Mr. Ute. Yes, Your Honor. You have a store? I, I did. Uh, I've sold it since this all uh, took place. I sold it August 27th. And it was a jewelry store? Yes, Your Honor. Where you sold jewelry? Yes. And you also had a sign outside that you did repairs, jewelry repairs? Yes, uh, watch batteries, uh, watch repairs, jewelry repair. On what date, Mr. Ute, did Mr. McGinnis bring in his wife's Cartier watch to you to repair? Well, if I may, Your Honor, I don't remember the exact date. Well, then I... Just a second. If you don't remember the date, maybe well, Mr. McGinnis Well, for the repair, does. yes, it was uh, January 6th. 1-6, 2018? Yes, Your Honor. Is that correct? January 16th, Your Honor. 16. 16, 1 6, yes, ma'am. Had you ever been to his shop before? I had, I had great service from him. Put your hand down. For how many years had you been using his shop? I think once, about three years earlier, he replaced a watch battery for me. So you had one prior experience with him? Yes, Your Honor. Three years prior, where he replaced a watch battery for you. In yes, whose watch? Uh, my wife's. Which watch? Same watch. He repaired the battery. No problem, and the watch ran for three years. Uh, it didn't run for three years. We had the battery replaced elsewhere again, but that time it ran for an acceptable year. And then you brought it back again because it had stopped running. You brought it back on the 16th That's correct. of January. Okay. He gave you the watch on the 6th. Yes, Your Honor. And what did you do with it? We wrote up a repair ticket. What did you do with it? And we gave it to our watchmaker the following week when he came in for his weekly pickup. When did you return the watch to Mr. McGinnis? We called him on the 26th of January, told him it was ready. We left a message. And he came to pick it up on what date? The 27th of January. And how much did you charge him? Uh, $375 plus tax. How much had the watchmaker charged you? We don't share that information of cost. Are you kidding me? You're in court. You're a plaintiff. I asked you a question. How much did the watchmaker charge you? It would have been about two. Not what it would have been about. You're a businessman. You had a business. You charged him $375. $275. So you made $100. Yes, Your Honor. And I assume you paid the watchmaker. Yes, Your Honor. When did Mr. McGinnis call you and tell you that the watch stopped running? He did not call. He came in. On what date? February 17th. So within a relatively short period of time, he came in, the watch wasn't running? Yes, Your Honor. What did you do with the watch? We explained to him that the watch was under warranty. We were very sorry that this has happened. Go ahead. And that it doesn't happen very often, but it, we will take care of it. It's something most likely very small. We will expedite getting it to our watchmaker, getting it repaired, and getting it back. And? He refused. He said, my wife won't let me leave it here. He goes, I want my money back. And I said, sir, I said, I appreciate your frustration. And I, again, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not going to give you the money back because I can't get it back from the watch repair. He's not going to give me my money. It's under warranty with him. I need to be able to let him take care of what's wrong with it. So what he did was he reversed the charges on the credit card. Yes. I would have, too. Your Honor. Just a second. I would have, too. In addition to that, he wrote a negative comment on your web page? He did it on Facebook. Do you advertise on Facebook? Yes, Your Honor. Advertising on Facebook is a double-edged sword. You get customers from Facebook because you advertise on Facebook. People who are satisfied customers may write a complimentary piece on Facebook about you. People who are not satisfied customers can write something unpleasant about you. If he wrote something on Facebook that was about you, let's say something about your private life, that I'll read. But if he said, I was unhappy with, in some form, I was unhappy with the service that I got from Ute Jewelers, that's okay. If he says that you have some incurable disease or sexually transmitted disease, then he has to pay through the nose. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I do, Your Honor. Okay, you have no case. We're done. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor. Why does I excuse you? They step out.